What's up y'all? Clean Cuts the One back with another video. In this section of the Successful Shop series, I want to talk to you guys about being worth what you charge, but also charging what you're worth. Alright, so I know there's a lot of debate and a lot of discussion going on in the barber community with regards to pricing. How much should a haircut cost? How much are you charging for your haircuts? You're not charging enough. You're not worth this and that. How are you getting this much money for a haircut? And I just wanted to talk about that for a minute. Here at Clean Cut Grooming Lounge, we charge $20 for a haircut, $25 for a haircut and beard trim. And what I'm knowing now is that I wasn't doing it real smart when I started my operation because if our beard trims are 15 and our haircuts are 20, then why is my haircut and beard trim 25, right? They should have been at least $32 because it just makes sense. We still save the client money, but we don't shortchange ourselves. Now, to be honest, I didn't have a whole lot of confidence when I started. I was kind of scared, and a lot of you guys might identify with that. I was scared to, to raise my prices. I figured nobody in my area is charging $20 for a haircut, so I'm going to do that first. But what I'm finding is that oftentimes, based on my clients and based on my tips, is that my haircuts are worth at least $25 because the value of something is always predicated by what someone is willing to pay for the service or for the item. So I know that the value of my haircuts and my guy's haircuts is at least $25 because we never receive less than $25 for a haircut. Now, having said that, once we're open for one year, I'm gonna have to start letting all my clients on social media know that effective on blank blank date, we are going to raise our prices. And I'm gonna let them know that I'm raising my prices based on what them, the clients, are willing to pay for the haircut. I will tell them, hey, we don't work for tips. So we're gonna raise the price to 25 bucks because you guys have told us that we're worth 25 bucks. And hey, if you don't wanna tip, you don't have to tip. I suspect that the same people that pay $25 for a, a haircut with the tip now we'll pay $25 for the haircut later and I suspect that they're still gonna tip we're gonna adjust our prices with the beard trims and the haircuts so that they reflect accurately and it's gonna be hard guys so charging what you're worth can be hard right but again you also have to make sure that you're worth what you charge for instance you can't just go in a shop and just start charging 40 bucks for a haircut 30 bucks for a haircut even Maybe 25 bucks for a haircut if all you're doing is selling haircuts. If you don't have anything to offer with regards to experience, if you're not investing in tools, if you're not uh, taking continuing education courses, if you don't know how to use a blow dryer, if you're not doing what it takes to raise up the value of your services, then you don't have the right to charge them. If all you're doing is one clipper, one trimmer, one comb, and that's it. Come in, let me sell you a haircut. You probably, you don't need to charge less than $20 because this is 2018 and, and a grown man should be paying $20 for his haircut. But you can't really go a lot higher than that unless you're adding stuff to your services. Are you shaving the back of their neck? Are you, um, are you styling the hair after you finish the haircut? Are you having good conversation? Do you make the client feel welcome with the things that you do? So these are all things to think about. But the bottom line is, guys, we just have to understand that we are worth something as barbers. Like... If you can do a nice fade, I know you hear the client sit in the chair all the time. I was going to so-and-so chain shop and they can never get the steps out of my hair or blah, 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 whatever. If you have some value to offer, then you have to recognize it yourself. And oftentimes we're the last one to recognize our value. So start looking at your numbers, see what your clients are tipping you and kind of assess the true value of your time. Because once you know the value of your time, you'll stop selling yourself short. You'll stop doing things just so you can get a shout out and you'll stop doing things just so you can get a like on whatever, whatever repost page, right? Because that stuff, that's cool, but that ain't really about nothing. Those likes, those followers, those reposts, that's cool, but if you're doing this stuff for likes, followers, and reposts, then we just don't identify. And a lot of stuff I'm gonna talk about this in this series isn't probably gonna help you. So. I just want to encourage you guys, and I'm gonna, I'll, I'll do it first. I know that it's hard to be the first one to step out and be like, all right, I'm going to charge what I'm worth. But everything that I've, I've, I've researched, everything that I've looked at in my own personal experience, you have to step out on faith first, right? You can't like think your way into a better way of business, 
you have to actually do the business into a better way of thinking. So what that means is a lot of times you have to go forward and get the experience first and then your hope will turn into faith and then it'll become trust and then eventually you'll just have the wisdom. So I hope I shared something to help you guys today. Go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. We got a lot coming up. We got the Nashville Music City Barber Mayhem and I'm really excited about that because it's going to be my first clean cut grooming products and services show. Definitely going to be rocking out with Tune 45 like always, but this is going to be my booth. And I'm really excited about that because, not because I'm looking to sell a whole bunch of beard oil and beard combs and stuff like that, but because when you look at the big picture, right, I'm just a dude. Like there's nothing special about me. And that's what I need you guys to understand. Like there's nothing really special about me except for the work that I've done. Somebody said in my comments the other day, you don't have to be the best hair cutter. You just have to be the hardest worker. And I find that to be true. I'm definitely not the best hair cutter. I wish I could tell you how much I'm learning from these new guys in my shop. I, I, I love it. So I want you guys to be encouraged and to believe in yourself. So if you can, go ahead and hit that like, drop me a comment, let me know what your thoughts are, hit that subscribe button, and I'm going to come back with some more. So next time.